Drove by the restaurant, it's been closed down for years. I remember eating breakfast there, I was still wet behind the ears. Early in the morning, before the sun come up, we load up in the pickups, then we'd head out to hunt. Those are the days that I miss. Tonight I'm gonna drive around and just reminisce. Those memories I just can't forget. Those are the days that I miss. Gonna reminisce.
been raining on and off all day. I keep thinking when it quits raining that there's going to be movement. But all I've saw is that one coyote and a bunch of squirrels. So you guys saw me go hunt this morning, going back at it, get you some more footage. Hopefully we'll see something other than just a coyote and a bunch of squirrels. All right guys, I made it to the uh, blind. I'm hunting at my dad's, but a different spot than this morning. I'm out at the corn feeder. So if I see a doe, I plan to take it because I want to for sure get some meat for our family. Try to get you as much footage as I can. Thank you guys for watching. All right, y'all, with this rain, I still keep thinking I'm hearing deer. But uh, we got way too dark inside the uh, blind here to keep videoing because as you can see, it's not dark out here, but it's super dark in there because there's no sunlight. So had three does coming right at me, took a shot, pretty sure does down. So this is the hunting blind my dad built a couple years ago. Uh, we got corn feeder out there, different trails cut. So I heard something. I looked right down this alley 
There was three does coming right down this alley. I had to reposition my chair because I was looking at a different alley and they were coming. They got right here, which is about the same place I killed my first buck. I was trying to get the biggest doe. We have a big doe out here that she's the one that I hopefully got on camera earlier that she will blow at you and make everything in the within a mile scatter. She's super smart. So I was had the biggest doe in my sights, but then they got these trees. They were in this opening, but these trees started messing them up. So I wasn't sure which one the biggest one was, but they got literally right here. And I shot because look, it's right there. They were coming right at me. So they got right in here. I'm pretty sure I know where she's down, but I always like to come over and kind of look for blood, see what happened. It's still plenty of light out, but the camera. I swear I heard something. The camera and being in the woods and not the pasture just makes it so much darker. But should be able to see where some leaves messed up. But she was literally coming right at me after I shot. She ran. Should be right over there. So let's go look. So it's been raining for like a day and a half on and off everything's super wet it's hard to see anything in these leaves but she came right at me went down this road turned right here she should be right over there let's go look oh yeah Lots of blood. Awesome. Yeah, lots of blood right through here. Lots and lots of blood. So she went right through here. Again, I'm sitting right there. There's a gate here. She turned this way. Oh. I think I see a white belly. You guys see a white belly? I see a white belly. There's so many noises. I keep getting distracted. So when you want to walk up on them, you want to be super careful that they don't jump up and come at you that has happened to people and it's been bad that might be trash so let's keep looking I'm not following the blood trail anymore but I could get back on it if needed so again I was right over there and I saw her fall down but sometimes it's hard to remember where you were at when your heart's pumping and you're all excited. Yeah, that's that's not a white belly. That's old trash. Where are you at, girl? I might need to get my flashlight to brighten up the blood trail a little bit more. So if I need to, I'll get my dad and a flashlight brighten up the blood trail a little more but I'm pretty sure it was right in this thicket I really thought that was her white belly I saw her crash unless she got up with a gun you don't have to wait as long as if it was a bow Usually when they run, it's just not very far. Well, dang it. 
could have swore she went down closer than that. So I'd just found some more blood. I called my dad because I didn't want it to get too dark before we found her. And I was talking to him and then I saw her. There she is. Still, you want to go up nice and easy just to be sure. Poke them in the rear end so if they jump up, it's away from you. All the things you learn in your hunter safety course class. She's a big old doe. I'm hoping she's the one we wanted. Man, she's huge. All right, so. She's either really good possum or she's expired, but I'm gonna go to the back of them so if they jump up, they don't run into you because they sure are powerful. Poker in the rear end. Good to go. Good to go. Dad's on his way. I'll probably try to drag her out a little bit to where he can get back here. Man, I'm out of breath. So, my dad's on his way with the truck. He dropped me off. Right back here's a stand. I drug her to right there. I'm going to try to drag her up a little further. But she is huge. Big old body. So, first time I have ever killed a doe I've hunted since I was eight years old. First time I've ever killed a doe. We got a lot of doe. It's good to have doe management and she'll feed our family well. So I'm back at the house. We got the doe um, checked in and then took her to the processors and uh, selected our cuts of meat. I'm excited to get her back and uh, have some good food for our family. Uh, we did, I did get five pounds cut into jerky and then we'll make our own jerky. So I'm excited about that. So a lot of times people say, I don't understand how you can kill those beautiful creatures. Well, I have been hunting ever since I can remember. My dad has always taken me hunting and it is a way that we can provide and feed our family. So uh, I've spent time in the woods yesterday and today. Always great to spend some time in the woods and reflect on God's beautiful creations. And um, it cost $125 to get that deer process. So we'll get a lot of ground meat. We'll get backstrap. We'll get steaks. We'll get the jerky for 125 bucks. So um, I feel like it's a good deal. It's a great way for our family uh, to stay fed. And the boys are super excited to get out in the woods. So hopefully the rest of this week I can take them. I still am looking for that big buck to beat Moorhead Homestead. But like I had said in the videos earlier, I was trying to video, it got dark and things, but there, um, it's good to control your doe population, but also there's a doe that's really smart and she's always blowing and snorting and scaring everybody away uh, because she always knows when someone's there. So I'm hoping that's the doe that I got because it's messing up hunting for everybody else. Um, but also I'm thankful for the Lord providing food for our family. So hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless. Love you guys. And we'll see you next time.